Hey everybody, this is Big Guy from Big Guy Reviews. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, uh, normally we don't do installation style videos, but I got kind of partially the way into this uh, spark plug change here on my 2019 Polaris Sportsman 850 SP. And I thought there was a couple of things that were kind of unique about it. And I thought maybe I should make a video on it and, and share them with you guys and maybe help somebody out. So I'll just get right into it. Um, first thing you do here is come up here to the front after you take, I took my seat off, open this up, took the tray out and, uh, come right here and right here you'll see on this little front piece, which is under your headlight, you'll see, uh, the screw comes out. It's a T25 Torx head bit. So we get rid of that. Then up underneath, you have one pop lock. So these things are a little stiff. Um, keep in mind, I'm rough on everything. You know, I'm a big, a big guy, and I don't clean anything. So, um, you know, there's a lot of grit and grime in here. But, oh, here was the thing that held me up that made me make this video. Was when this thing's in here... You really got a tug on it, and you think, holy crap, I don't wanna break it. Well, what it is, is a couple of spring compression fittings in there. So if you just pick straight up, then it'll pop right out. So that was the main thing that held me up. So I'm gonna get the rest of the way into this thing, and uh, I'll keep going and share it with you just for information and hope it helps somebody out. Okay, got all the little pop locks out. And slid this side panel up. Um, basically, you have one pop lock here, one here, and then that's it. Everything else is a slide tab here, here, and here, I think. So let's see if this bad boy comes out of here. Oh, yeah, do you see that? There's a little hook there where you get that out and then slide that right off. Let's lay this down here. And then right here, is your spark plugs and you see this little bar right here this little bar has to be removed right there and then you lift it up and you can get your spark plugs out and you know just make sure when you take your spark plugs out you don't grab them by the wire and just pop them off make sure you get underneath here and if you have a uh, a set of needle nose like this that you can get in there with and, and get a good grip on them without damaging them. That that might help too. So uh, let me go ahead and get this changed out and uh, I will be right back. Okay, here we go. As you see, we have the spark plug wires off now and this linkage, which attaches down there, must be removed. Now here's the trick. Shift the bike into neutral and you unscrew this. You've got a... Uh, a nut that sits on top of that little washer and then the uh, bolt goes through the hole and you have your nut on this side well make sure you don't drop that nut because if you drop that nut it's going to be way down in there and if it is way down in there you will need one of those which is a little magnet tool uh i know that because i needed one so anyway um as you see Plug wires are off, everything's out, open, getting ready to remove the plugs. We'll be back in a minute. As you see, that's the removed plug compared to a new plug. And uh, tore down a little bit, could use a little help. So we are changing them for a reason. That's at 600 miles, believe it or not. So uh, let's see if that helps the performance. I'm assuming it will. And back with the other spark plug. I meant to say a while ago, the other one was the back cylinder. This is the front cylinder. Um, I think this one, the front cylinder was burned just a little bit more, uh, a little bit darker. So um, as you can see here, these are NGK Lincoln Zebra King Adam Robert 7 Adam. Whoops, sorry. That's, anyway, that's what it is, as you can see it there. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Well, here we are. We got everything done. Um, 
both plugs are changed the linkage is back on everything's ready to go back on with the side plate and then the seat the front little cowling there last and then we're gonna go ahead and see what happens here we try to fire it up Okay, boys and girls, there it is. It's all back together, and we're off to the races now. We got our plugs changed and everything. I wanted to make sure that I pointed out a couple of things to you, a couple of tools that might come in handy. I used these bent needle nose pliers quite a bit uh, to hold the nut that goes behind the linkage for the shifter and the transmission back here. And also the nut, the bolt that goes through there, um, the nut on the other side is a M6 1.0. And the reason I have a box is because after I fished it out the first time with my magnetic telescopic rod, I dropped it a second time and I could not locate it. Uh, so I think it fell behind the heat shield and I couldn't find it down in there. But anyway, I just picked up another one. It's not a big deal. Put it on. Uh, now I've got three extra. So when uh, average guy gets to West Virginia next time and loses one, I'll have him an extra one. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Please uh, click subscribe. That helps out with our channel and uh, like this comment. If you got any questions, just let me know. I'll be glad to answer them. Hope this helps somebody. Thanks, guys.